Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. How's everybody doing this morning? It's Monday morning. We're in the shop. If you saw my Facebook post a couple weeks ago, you know that we had a thief down here at the shop. Uh, we were gone camping for the weekend. And Dad popped in, looked around the parking lot like something's not here anymore. And uh, right there in front of my little Cavalier Type 10 coupe, used to sit his pop-up camper. Um, it was a 2000, I think a six or seven Rockwood Elite. It was a 24 footer with the slides. Real nice pop up. Uh, he had bought it earlier this year and we had been in the process of rebuilding the roof and stuff on it. So it, it was, he brought it here for us to do that. So we had it in and out of the shop a whole lot for the first week or so. And then we left it sitting outside locked up over here for another week or so and everything was fine no big deal uh it sat there for a couple weeks and then we come back in monday morning and she's gone so they left no trace <laughs> there's a box of uh raisin brand clover valley but that's it she just up and disappeared uh, here's actually pieces of the block that were being used as wheel chocks and yeah it, it, was, it was right here and now it's not so we it's titled and everything dad's got it so he called the sheriff's department and filed a report they came out and said, okay, well, you know, it's going to be hard to find. The theory is the people that bought, that bought it, the, the people that took it, um, it was tarped up. I've, I've got some pictures, I think, of it with it tarped. Uh, it's been in the background. If you just saw the video I made a few weeks back on the Isuzu Rodeo or whatever that thing was, uh, if you saw that video, it's actually in the background of that video. It's the white thing with the blue tarp strapped to it and like i said the reason for the tarp is the roof was inside the shop we were rebuilding it but either way somebody wanted it more than we did so they came we don't know if it was saturday night or sunday night but they came in the night and got it hauled it out of here uh none of the cameras saw anything we don't have any on the front uh, a friend of mine treble has some on his building behind me he said he, he couldn't really tell anything from it either. And that's only if they decided to go past his building when they left. You know, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five ways they could have snuck that thing out of there. So it's it's probably gone. But we still have the roof to it. And uh, so if, if you haven't seen, I don't think I've posted any of those videos yet or anything. We found a replacement for dad for his pop-up. He's over here working on it now. I've got some videos that'll come out on that. This is his 1967 Aristocrat. Uh, we thought it was a Travelier. Travelier was just the company that was selling it. It wasn't the brand. The brand was Aristocrat. So there it is in all its glory. And if you notice up on top, it's got a rooftop AC. No, they didn't have that in 67. That was part of the pop-up roof that we still had inside that they weren't able to steal. So some of the things they weren't able to take were like the lights out of it, uh, the big roof AC unit, which is up there now. And here's the actual roof for the pop-up camper, the roof that we had pulled off and we're rebuilding. So all the aluminum frame got fixed, all the brackets got replaced in it that held that on. Uh, we had all the new Laminate sheets to resheathe the roof. That's the foam underneath. And it was all in good shape. That's so all that was left was the laminate and, uh, and then painting all the joints. And then we could have bolted that back on. But they took it. So, so as I was saying, probably going to have to figure out a, instead I've never done one before, but might end up seeing if we can set up like a Patreon or some kind of something to get some content out. Maybe add a little bit of funds to the channel so I can do more of this stuff. 
we've been just so hyper focused on the last year getting this business going and it's been good I mean, we could always do better but it hasn't left me a lot of time in there for filming stuff and scrap car stuff so we'll just have to see that might not even work i don't know as we slowly creep towards that hundred thousand mark we thank you for all the views and comments along the way uh like i said and there's the new camper to replace the pop-up that got stolen so we'll finish or continue on the series with it and hopefully get to take it out camping sometime soon before thanksgiving will be cool we're already into october though we'll have to see how that goes what else got the 67 aristocrat and we're looking for one of the bumper mount hitches uh to put on the galaxy to potentially haul that around with the galaxy locally since this is 67 right they're both 67 so be cool just to uh, go to car shows yeah probably won't haul it around the mountains and stuff just because you know four-wheel drum brakes yeah. no power brakes yeah. but uh car shows and stuff would be okay and then we go camping and stuff you could use the jeep you could probably even use the explorer yeah I don't know. I've never used a Jeep. I don't know how the transmission will go in there. The Explorer is a, what, a, a 9, 8? 7. 7. seven. With and four. with the 4 liter in it. We've already put an engine with new timing chains and stuff in it, but those have a sealed transmission, so. We've got to do something about the timing chain again, correct? Yeah. But. Anyway, there's that. There's the new Aristocrat. Pop ups got stolen. So, that's it's going to end this one. And uh, thank you guys for all the support. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. That's what I meant to say. And uh, me and Charlie and Dad will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.